Hey there, it's Colin Smith from Photoshop Cafe. And right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a first look and a, a review of the DJI Phantom 2 Vision. This is the new one with the uh, camera attached. And obviously I'm wearing Google Glass right now, so I'm going to record the whole thing on Google Glass. And so let's go have a look and see what we got. All right, here we are. First look and first flight of the... Uh, Phantom 2 Vision by DJI. So let's have a look first of all at the Phantom and see what's new. Well, the first thing you'll notice is we've got the new battery. So we've got this improved battery here. Uh, you can just touch it like that and I'll show you the levels on there. And uh, you can just slot this in so there's no more jamming things into the little slots. See how it just pops in there. Let's have a look at the Phantom itself right now. One of the things you'll notice is it's got bigger blades. You'll notice they get very close together. They're softer blades than before. Uh, more powerful motors. And also you'll notice there's black on the top of this one and there's silver on here. So you know which ones are going uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. In fact, you can only put them on one way. Notice the absence of the locking nuts on the top here. That's because these are self-tightening uh, props, which is great, so they're not gonna fall off mid-flight. Let's flip it over and have a look at the bottom. One thing you'll notice here, we've got these little rubber on the uh, on the skids here for landing, which is really nice. I mean, it's a very small thing, but it's the little details that make a difference. So we can get a gentler landing than before. The other thing, obviously, you know, the big thing is we've got the camera on board with the vision here. So we have this camera here. It's a 2.8, 140 degree uh, view. It can shoot 1080p at uh, 30 frames per second, or it can shoot uh, 1080i at 60 frames per second. Also has a camera, 14 megapixel shoots JPEG and RAW. All right, enough of that. Notice it's on a nice little mount here. Um, so those are the overall improvements here. The other things, obviously, is we get more flying time because of the new battery. Um, DJI currently saying about 25 minutes of flight time. So let's get this down. It's a little bit heavier than the other one because of the battery. But let's have a look at the uh, controller right now, the transmitter. The transmitter looks very much the same as the previous one. However, it has a couple of adjustments. One of them is you have these options that go on here. This one here is a Wi-Fi transmitter. Well, it's not actually a transmitter, it's actually a range extender. So the Wi-Fi actually communicates with the camera with the uh, Phantom. Here, this little slot here is where the magic happens because we can actually attach an iPhone. Let's go down and do this right now. So this will enable me to put my iPhone on here which we can turn on. Obviously, it works on an Android as well. We're going to turn our transmitter on. We're going to turn on our range extender. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our Phantom. I'm going to show you a different way of turning it on. Rather than before when we had to shove the batteries in and attach it, all we need to do is just push once quickly and then push and hold for two seconds. And there we get our um, tones that we're used to. Shows the battery level there. We can see there's four levels, which means the battery is full. So this will actually show that as it goes. Notice we've got our lights here on the bottom here now are actually indicating our status. And right now it's flashing orange because it's looking for satellites. It'll flash green when it actually gets satellite lock. Okay, so now that this is going, let's go over to our transmitter here and let's see what we can do to connect it. Let's see if we've got some Wi-Fi. Notice here we've got Phantom, so we can connect to the Phantom Wi-Fi channel now. That's the first thing you want to do. All right, so here we are on the Wi-Fi right now on our uh, iPhone. We've got the Wi-Fi turned on. Turn the brightness all the way up just so you can see a little bit better because we don't really care about the auto dim. Now we're just going to move along till we've got the new DJI Vision app, which is free. And now you'll see that it's showing on here that it's got a connection there. So there's a phantom, so it's got the Wi-Fi on it. Let's turn on camera. And now, when it comes up, you can actually see what your camera can see on your iPhone. So if I turn this around, point it at myself, you can see that I can actually see through the camera right now, real time. Very, very nice. The other thing we can do is if we grab this little gimbal button here and we push this, we can tilt. And as we tilt it up and down, 
notice it will actually move the camera up and down. All right, so that's the basics here. We can, we can talk about all the other options in here a little bit when we're in flight, but let's have a look and see where we're looking for our setup here. Do we have green? Yes, we've got uh, constantly flashing green, which means that we're set up, we're ready to go. So let's just pop this over here on the ground. And now we're just gonna start it up just by pulling these two levers down together. And notice now that we've got this uh, started up and it's spinning. And I'm just gonna push my lever. This lever here is up and down. And this one here controls the uh, direction that it travels. But let's just push this right up and then take off right now. Okay, let's have a look at our app here. So here's our app we're looking at. Notice that we can touch our little gimbal thing and we can pull this up and down to look down. There I am. Or go more level. You can see how you can control that. Let's just fly around a little bit. It's, this lever here will cause it to spin. This is the left. You can see there's the camera. Let's give it a little more altitude. If you look on here, the, the bottom here shows that distance is 71 feet from where we are. The altitude right now is 152 feet. And the speed, well, it's pretty much hovering because it's got satellite lock. How many satellites do we have here? You can see right now it shows the number. We're actually connecting with nine satellites. We've got full um, Wi-Fi there, 93% power, and we've got an SD card in there. So we can actually click this little button here and we can go under the settings for the camera. Let's look at our camera. We're going to go large and let's take a photograph. Simply click on the camera there and we take a photograph. That simple. If we want to record video, just simply click the video button right now. We're recording video. Let's spin around a little bit. And stop here and let's give it a little bit more altitude. And you can see the altitude is going up here. We're at 232 feet. And it's continuing to climb. Let's just stop here. Altitude is 380 feet. We're going to grab this and tilt it down a little bit. So now we're bringing it down so we can look directly at the building. So you can see right now, it's pretty high up there. Um, you don't want to take it above 400 feet. 400 feet is the maximum allowed by the FAA. So you can see we're recording video, but we're able to just control that and actually frame it inside our picture. Now we're just kind of rotating it a little bit. And uh, this is great having this point of view. So let's bring it back. Let's stop the recording. All right, so here we go, it's hovering in position. And the reason it's holding its position is because of satellite lock. Currently, right now, we have 10 satellites. You can see, shows how many satellites we've got there. Let's bring our POV up a little bit more. So click that little button, and let's just rotate it up. So we get that right angle that we want. There we go, it's out there. And what we're gonna do is let's do a little flying using the POV. So let's fly forward now. So notice now you can actually see what our phantom is seeing. Let's give it a little more altitude. Okay, here's the other feature. Say you're in this position right now, which would be quite easy to see which way we're going because of the point of view, but it has this return home feature. So what we can do is we've actually switch off our transmitter. So right now the transmitter is completely off. And uh, notice it says the control signal is lost. Our phantom right now is climbing. So I think it's about 40 feet. And now it's returning home. So here it comes. Notice the transmitter is off. And right now it's returning right back to where it started using the satellites. And it's going to stop and hover once it gets into the position that it started. Notice it's flashing orange in the back there is showing us that it's lost 
uh, contact. Now we have an opportunity to turn our controller back on. And notice it's actually automatically coming in for a landing right now. So to get control, I turn this off. And now I'm going to turn it back on. And right now it's hovering, just waiting for me to get satellite lock again, or actually a signal again. And notice I got full control once again, just like that. And off it goes. And we got some speed going there. And notice how quickly it can maneuver. I mean, it's got some crazy maneuvering skills there right now. Bring it down. Wow, it's very, wow, this is really agile. Much, much more agile than the previous version. And right now I'm looking at my speed. 29 miles per hour, it's about 30 miles per hour right now. Check the battery level. 71% battery. So good. Speed is over 30 miles an hour right there. Let's bring it down a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the maneuvering. Because I want to get it onto the uh, screen here so you can see it. Watch how fast it can spin. And look at that. Amazing maneuvering capabilities. Alright, let's bring her up for a landing. Alright, that was fun. So that was my first flight with the uh, Phantom 2 Vision by DJI. Um, what, what's my overall thoughts on it? Um, well, the power is, is amazing. Uh, the maneuverability is far increased. So as far as flight control, much better, much, much better. Um, just all the improvements, the ability to see all that stuff on the iPhone, such as battery level, is huge. Not to mention the fact the battery lasts much longer. Uh, the other thing I love is being able to see the altitude so I can stay under the FAA regulation of 400 feet. I can also see the speed. Um, but on top of that, just the vision being able to actually see the POV or the point of view through the iPhone is amazing because now I can actually sit there and uh, frame my shots before I take them, frame my video. And also with the uh, gimbal, the, the single axis gimbal, I'm able to get the camera to the right angle and get exactly the shot I want. So that is invaluable. Um, the other thing I love is just some of the little things that they've looked at, um, you know, the better props, the self-tightening props. The, um, the other thing I really like is the new battery, being able to just slide it in there instead of having to shove all those cables in, which was kind of a little bit of a nuisance. And the other thing is for calibration, it's just a little USB slot in the front, so you actually just plug a USB cable in. You don't have to put your finger in there and fish it out like you did with the other one. So overall, um, you know, absolutely fantastic. I really love what DJI have done with this. Uh, any negatives? The only one negative thing that I'm seeing right now um, is with the video camera when you're banking the copter, you'll notice because it's a single and not a two angle, uh, two axis gimbal like the Zenmuse that I have right now on the other Phantom, uh, corrects for the banking as well as the up and down. And because of that, when you're banking hard, your video shots will be skewed. You'll get this kind of a Dutch angle on there. So it's just something to be aware of. But um, typically speaking, you know, I was pushing it pretty hard and fast today. Um, usually when I'm filming, I'm moving pretty slowly. So that's probably not going to be so much of an issue. So I'm looking forward to um, analyzing the video, analyzing the, the photographs and looking at the quality. And, uh, and I'll do another review on that and get back to you about the quality of that. And also I'll get back to you when I played around with it a little bit. I'll show you some footage and see how it goes with the banking when I slow it down a little bit and I'm a little more conservative in my flying. So for now, this is Colin Smith from Photoshop Cafe. Thanks for watching.